hi in today's video we'll see how to implement the incremental load in talent so before implementing let's try to understand what is incremental load so we have two concepts like initial load and incremental load in the initial load all the records from your source table gets loaded to the base table and in the incremental load only the changed records gets loaded to the base table uh, for example in the source table we have five records so for the first time when you run the job it's called initial load all the five records will get added to your target table so we have five records in the source table when you run the job for the first time that is called initial load all the five records will get added now when you run the job for the second time if a new records are added like six and seven only those records will get inserted to the target table so the changed records gets loaded to the target table so now let's see by definition so if you see here during the initial load all the records which means like one to five first time all the records in the staging table are inserted into the base table as new records so so the first five records will get loaded to the target system as a new records so once the initial data has occurred a base table a subsequent load processor called incremental load because only new records are updated into the base table so the subsequent load which is 6 and 7 are called as incremental load so this is the definition of the initial load and incremental load now let's see how do we calculate the incremental load so there should be some logic or a key column to identify how do we calculate the incremental load there should be some key column now let's see in the job like how it works so this is the job design and here we are using the oracle database so in the t pre job we have the oracle connection and in the post job we have the we are committing and closing the transaction and these are our source table so employee is the source table so we have around 108 records now let's see in the base table target table ok the target table is empty so, so during the initial load all the 108 records should get loaded to the target table now let's run the job yeah you see all 108 records got loaded so for it was empty now you can see all 108 records got added now now if you run the job again for the second time but there are no new records got inserted to the source table now if you run the job it will be zero records so no records will get processed zero records because there are no new inserts now let us insert a new record mm. okay so the higher date is okay let's see the maximum date from the okay before that like let's insert some new records and see Consent, okay. okay one row is inserted now let's run the job you can see one row will get loaded to the target table change the date okay mm, we'll keep it as 8th June 
Mm, okay, the maximum date was June. Okay. Okay, one row is inserted. Yeah, see, one row is inserted. Now let's try to understand how this works. So for the incremental load, what we do is we just do a connection to the target table which means employee underscore dw in that we take the maximum date higher date so based on the higher date column we calculate the incremental load so in the employee table we have a higher date column so here we take the maximum and if a new employee gets added he'll have, he will have the latest higher date so take the maximum higher date from the target table and load to a context variable higher date is equal to context at higher date then in the source table just put a condition here select all the records from employee where higher date is greater than the maximum date which you got from the target base table so it's higher date greater than two I mean context dot max higher date so this max higher date we got from the base table so two things do a lookup to the target table and get the maximum higher date then in the source table apply that as a condition so based on this condition only the inserted records will get in loaded to the target base table now we will insert two more records to see the scenario so two more now we are inserting two records to the base table now the maximum date is the maximum date is 8th June and now the inserted records as in date of 9th June and 10th June uh, so when you run this query you will get two records mm. So these are the inserted records. Okay, greater than eighth June. So only these two records will get inserted to the target base table. Now let's see in the job. Two records got inserted and the maximum date was 8th June now if you run the job again uh, no records will get inserted but the maximum date will be 10th June here you can see that see 10th June so I'll just show you here yeah see in the third step how to perform incremental load in talent create a context variable called max date then get the incremental date and assign that value to the context variable in the the oracle db input then assign the date to a context variable he here so assign the value to the context variable then retrieve the data from the source in a very condition and call the context variable then in the db load load the data to the target table thank you